Sadly, we have already lost some of the biggest names in the entertainment and sports industries in the month of July 2022. In this video, we remember the celebrities we lost over the last two days and how they died. Hi, I'm Yami. You're watching Hollywood Culture. Lenny Von Dolan American actor Lenny Von Dolan, who is known for his work in movies and TV shows like Twin Peaks, Electric Dreams, Home Alone 3, and Leaving Normal, died on the 5th of July 2022. His acting career spanned 40 years, mostly in independent films and guest appearances on numerous prominent series. Lenny died in his Los Angeles home after a long illness. Deadline reported. Lenny is survived by his mother, Gavon Dolan, and his 21 year old daughter, Hazel. Mac McLendon, American professional golfer Mac McLendon, who was the winner of PGA Tours, died on the 5th of July 2022. He was the winner of four PGA Tours. T22 was his best finish in a major championship at the 1968 US. In 1980, he retired from the PGA Tour. He died at the age of 76. No cause of death was revealed by his family. McLendon is survived by his wife of 55 years, Joan, his daughter, Amy Jason McLevin, and two grandchildren. Ira Valentine American football player Ira Valentine was an American football running back who played for Houston Oilers. He died on the 6th of July 2022. Ira played college football for Texas A&M as well as for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after graduating. During the 1987 NFL Draft, Valentine was drafted by the Houston Oilers in the 12th round. Ira died of a heart attack at the age of 59. James Kahn American actor James Kahn, who is most popular for his portrayal of Sonny Corleone in The Godfather, died on the 6th of July 2022. Originally, James auditioned for the role of Michael Corleone, but Al Pacino was chosen after Coppola's insistence. He started acting while he was studying at the Hofstra University where he met Francis Ford Coppola, the director of The Godfather. James' popular movies included Thief and Misery. His acting career hit a new height during the 1970s. James was nominated for an Oscar, an Emmy, and four Golden Globes. James died at the age of 82. No cause of death was disclosed by the family. Brian Marchment Canadian ice hockey player Brian Marchment, who played as a defenseman for teams like San Jose Sharks, Edmonton Oilers and Chicago Blackhawks passed away on the 6th of July 2022. Brian played 17 NHL seasons with nine different teams. In August of 2007, after retiring from NHL, he joined the Sharks front office working in scouting and player development. Brian died of a suspected heart attack at the age of 53. He is survived by his two children, son Mason, who is currently playing for Florida Panthers, and a daughter, Logan. Ed Bauta Baseball player Ed Bauta, who is known for playing for teams like St. Louis Cardinals and New York Mets, played as a right-handed relief pitcher, died on the 6th of July 2022. He died of natural causes at the age of 87. Adam Wade American singer Adam Wade, who is known for his super hit song, The Writing on the Wall, passed away on the 7th of July 2022. He was also the host of the CBS game show Musical Chairs, making him the first black game show host in the United States. If we talk about Adam's love life, he was married to Jerry Wade, who he met on the set of Musical Chairs. Adam died of complications from Parkinson's disease at the age of 87. George Elder American baseball player George Elder, who played as a baseball outfielder for the St. Louis Browns and played 41 games in Major League Baseball, died on the 7th of July 2022. He was one of only four living former St. Louis Browns players along with Billy Hunter, Ed Mickelson, and Frank Saussier. And Frank Saussier. George was the oldest living former Major League Baseball player. He died of natural causes at the age of 101. Tony Sirico American actor Tony Sirico, who is best known for his role as Polly Walnut's Galtieri in the HBO hit series The Sopranos, passed away on the 8th of July 2022. He is also known for his work in movies like Goodfellas and Wonder Real. His death was announced by his long-term manager, Bob McGowan. No cause of death was revealed by his manager or his family, and according to him, Tony died in an assisted living facility. He had been diagnosed with dementia some years before 
his death. He is survived by his daughter, Joanne, son, Richard, and brother, Robert. To keep watching our videos, please subscribe to Hollywood Culture.